Welcome back everyone, Zeke Morgan here for an exciting uh, walkthrough of Gone Home, the uh, first person adventure explorer video game developed and published by the Fulbright Company, initial released in 2013. This is going to be the full walkthrough of how to pick up all the journal entries throughout the game and finish it in under 15 minutes. As soon as the game starts, you're going to want to head to the left and pick up the house key, go straight in towards the house and pick up the sort of dossier on the left hand side. Then make your way to the left hand side of the building, opening up the doors as we go along. Again, just doing this a systematic search um, room by room as much as we can. We will sort of backtrack a little bit throughout this, but there's no need to worry. Obviously, if you do need to pause the game at any stage, uh, the timer, the 15 minutes that you have to get all the journal entries and finish the game, um, it doesn't carry on the timer when it's paused, so feel free to take as much time as you need. Now we're going to go into the library and don't forget to check in this room and grab the little note in the jacket pocket. Again, uh, we're going to be leaving the library now, taking a little bit of a left and checking the bottom right hand side of this chest of drawers for the other note, the best laid plans. We're going to backtrack now a little bit, not going quite through the door right at the end of the hallway, again backtracking now to the main stairways of the house. It's going to look like we'd normally go into the right hand side of the house right now, but we're not going to go there just yet. Instead, concentrating more in this secret passage in this, going underneath the stairs and picking up the attic key that's on this box. Again, don't forget then to leave as quickly as we can. Okay, you've still got plenty of time. We're about two minutes in already. We've got quite a lot of the journals. I believe there's a total of 26, including a secret one, which I will show you how to get. Don't really worry about pick turning the lights on. If you set the brightness up, it won't need to. It just basically slows you down. Don't forget to check out the little cabinet for that. Going into um, the room now, going into the lock closet. If you don't know the code, it's 0501. Open that up and picking up the key. Don't worry about the photo, there's nothing on it at all. Leaving there, going into the bathroom, just basically straight across from the hall. I accidentally cut that out a little bit. And getting the bottle by the bath. Then, going to ignore the room that I just almost looked into then, going instead down the hall, going to this little art room. You can leave this one basically to last before you go into the attic, but I prefer to get it done right now because it just aids into it a little bit. Going to go ahead and out the room, taking a left, taking a right, heading down the corridor now. Going into mum and dad's room. Don't need to basically look at any of the chest of drawers in here. Um, for those of you who want to be grossed out, there is a condom in the bottom right hand drawer. But um, all that you want to do is just go into their closet and activate the secret panel there. Head down the stairs, there's a note there if you should want to look at it at all. And um, basically what you want to do is look at this sort of boarded up panel near the top right. There is going to be a little bit of a secret panel. I get momentarily a little bit confused, as I said, wasting a little bit of time here. But I know I've still got plenty of time to get the remaining journal entries. Basically what you want to do is just look top right. There you go, I saw it there, but just forgot to press the button to open it. Bit weird of me that it'll take you back into the library. Then, and we did miss one when we were in here earlier, it's going to be in the back right hand room of it. Um, basically, you just lift the panel off, chuck it down somewhere, and pick up the Misfits poster there. It's not a bad thing there, you've still got plenty of time, only about four minutes into this, there's no need to worry or rush at all. Open the door to make sure we can fit through and go in through Dad's office. Ignore the filing cabinet on the side, there's nothing in it, you don't need to worry. Adding then down the corridor, obviously you'll remember this for when we searched the chest of drawers a minute ago, but we didn't open the doors, but that's where we want to go now. It'll basically lead us down to the basement, flick the light on if you want to again. If you set the brightness up on the screen, there's no need to worry. And there's going to be quite a few journal entries, and we do recommend, or I do recommend, that you play this game once before you try this. Um, it is possible to get most of the trophies in this game by following this walkthrough and doing it on your first playthrough. Not only will you get the trophy for all the uh, journal entries within 15 minutes, but you also get the um, uh, trophy then for completing it for the first time. 
basically don't forget to go into this little bathroom and pick up the one just on the side of the wall. I almost missed that the first time I did this, but there's no need to worry at all. Pick up the postcard, and then you've got to stick with the group. Basically heading around again to a nice secret passage there, or I think it's a little bit more of a secret passage, and heading up the stairs. This is where I really think that the game should employ a run function, but I suppose that would just allow you to finish the game a little bit too quickly. Don't forget to pick up the little bit of a letter then on the desk and head through again another secret passage. Going to head to the sofa then, and just on the left of it there's going to be a folder. You're going to need to close it and pick up the scrap of paper there. It's not so bad now, and just going through that open door, it's going to take us obviously to the right hand um, wing of the house. I opened it to make it a little bit easier for when I come back through. Don't forget to open the door, otherwise you're going to get stuck in it like I did there. Open it up, and there's going to be two little notes there, one on either side. I'm going to head straight through the living room now, going into the kitchen second then we're going to come back to that that's why i left it there and don't forget um i can't remember if i actually opened this in a previous video but there is going to be a journal entry there gonna head then straight through the bathroom and sort of the kitchenette area going into the extension then making sure you're picking up this obviously that will show the um sort of hidden areas of the house but basically most of them we've already gone and gone through so we're going to backtrack again, an awful lot of backtracking I know and I do apologise for this, it's just the way that I found that works best for me. Going into this, picking up the little handwritten note on the desk and going into basically what I like to call our improvised garage. Now this is going to be one of the ways that you can get the secret um, things, basically you're going to need to pick up the can in this. I can't even read what that says, but basically look up to the ceiling, there's going to be a little ball stuck up there. Basically you want to throw the can and get the ball and then um, follow it all the way back up to the stairs to get into the bedroom again. Again, we got it on our second try, that's not bad. Again, we have plenty of time, we're just uh, coming up to the 7.20 mark there, as long as you're within sort of three minutes um to that 50 minute mark there's no need to rush at all it's still going to be completely fine again as i said you want to just head straight back up the stairs now um most of the journal entries you should have got by now but you're heading back into the bedroom at the end of the hall uh you can throw the ball down there if you want to sort of speed things up but never mind you need to close the door and basically get a slam dunk for it you can walk a little bit closer and you will actually get a slam dunk um, I thought I didn't do it in the first time, so I was going to try it again, but you get Mitten's Journey, the meow meow meow. If you do happen to look at the TV behind you, you will also see the cats going. If it is your first time doing this and the first time getting the secret, I believe there is also another trophy in it. Now we're just coming near the end of it now. You want to head up to the attic. Don't forget the journal entry by the sleeping bag and then head into the other room and uh, interact with the book on the table to end it. It will fade to black and then hopefully you should get your trophy. If not, um, reload the game from the ga main menu and you should get it there. Still within plenty of time of that 15 minutes. Uh, hopefully you have enjoyed this walkthrough of Gone Home. If you did, please don't hesitate to leave a like, comment, share and subscribe. And as always, have a lovely day now.